Finally, I said, well, what if Frida Kahlo was my life coach? Now, I, I don't, I'm not saying she would be the best life coach. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, what if Frida was my life coach? You know, so, because <laughs> I mean, she's, you know, she, she, she's got some raw edges and um, I appreciate, I like my, I like my role models to have raw edges. So here we go. And it's in part. So imagining Frida Kahlo as my life coach. One, and this is her speaking. One, woman, draw yourself in but always in layers. Note, jewel stones of ruby and azure contrast brilliantly against brown hues. The world will tell you the self-portrait, the first person I do not matter. My paintings beg to differ. They thought I was a surrealist, but I wasn't. I never painted dreams. I painted my own reality. Create your crucial cartography. Go against the shallow grain in craft and when you're and within yourself. See how I let my eyebrows meet? Proven beauty does not have to be pune, pruned. Make your own standards of loveliness. To honor my long line of mothers on my mother's side, I cloaked myself in the isthmus of Tawantepec. I braided my hair and an updo crown, adorned my loaves and chests and jewels with jewels of Hawaka. Take heed. Revere your African Southern Cherokee foremothers. Wear talismans from each line for direction and protection. Let them see what you want them to see. To deflect from flaws and fractures, I wrap myself in rebozo shawls and don Tijuana dresses and long skirts. Appearances are meant to be deceiving. Two, go within. Slice beyond skin. 30 operations could take me nowhere but within. I turned pain into inspiration. When the pole pierced my pelvis, I took my bedridden sentence as a license to paint. Create at all costs. Do not cave, even though cancer and fibromyalgia cling to you. Don't throw the monkeys off your back. Bed them, bed, bid them to sit on your arms and shoulders. Draw them in. Do not flinch from what you see within the inner landscape. Grandmother death held my hand daily. I see you, sister mystic, how you cavort with death. Follow the vain territory. Exhibit your extracted heart. Be brave, wild woman. Three, cast out hurt. I shared, I sheared my head in mourning. My love for him made me falter. Miscarriages created caverns. Whatever you do, do not offer your heart on a silver platter to anyone unless it's an even exchange. Damn Diego, that toad-eyed glutton. He killed me countless times. Nevertheless, me amore. His artist's eye could only see me in parts. Pear-shaped ass, elongated nape of Nick, and the hue of my skin, the color of adobe. He shouts, viva la revolution for the people, but could not see the person right in front of him. With my sister, you predictable philanderer, curse him, for my love for him, curse me. Four, exorcise. I blurred every line, especially with sex, dressed in men's suits, smoked cigars, loved women, drank tequila straight, spread legs wide when sitting to know what it felt like to take up space as a man. Did not give a damn about who and what I broke even myself. Do not, Glennis, do not do as I did. Do not break yourself more than life breaks you. Five. Direct gaze into yourself. See straight to the other side. Mythologize. Put yourself back together the best you can. With paint, with pen, with purpose, even with your chemotherapy, withered, bald held self, don't flinch, reinvent. With one leg gone, I flung the limb. I adapted the adage. Why do I need feet when I got wings? 
whenever facing the impossible, never say die. Unfurl, fling, flare, fly.